One of the most iconic symbols of San Francisco has got to be the Golden Gate Bridge. This particular view of it is extra special to me as I got married just down the street from where it was taken. So I can't think of a better image to use to cap off my San Francisco sourdough bread making series and celebrate my first thousand subscribers. But I'm getting a little ahead of myself here. Let's rewind and show you how to make this loaf yourself if you want. So after dusting your loaf with a mix of rice flour and plain flour, you want to start out by sketching the design of the toothpick. The huge benefit here is that if you make a mistake, you can just wipe away the line and try again. So it's a bit of a long pattern, so we'll just enjoy the music as we fast forward our way through the rest of this sketching phase. You can use a butter knife to gently scrape off the dusting flour from the areas that you want to come out darker, like the rocks in the background here. If you want the color to come out even more, just use a damp paper towel to blot off the rest of the dusting flour. Just a few more fine details and we'll be ready to start scoring the loaf. So now it's time to go over a lot of the lines we just sketched with our razor blade, or long. Just be careful to apply the right amount of pressure for the different lines to get the effect that you're after. A good example are these long lines of the bridge deck. If you score these lines too deeply, then the loaf will expand heavily at these lines and the final image will end up distorted. Again, there's a lot of scoring that goes into this design, so we'll just pop it on fast forward and enjoy the music again for now. So we'll gently scrape away the flour between the road deck lines now that we've scored them as well. And channeling Bob Ross, we'll pop on a few happy little seagulls to help complete the scene. Now we don't want to do all this work only to have our design blow out from some good oven spring, so we'll make that top outline a bit deeper all the way across the loaf to absorb the spring and give it a place to expand as needed. So here's something that you barely ever see behind the real Golden Gate Bridge. Let's go for a bright sun in a cloudless sky. So here it is, fully scored and ready to bake. Just before we pop it in the oven, let's see how closely it matches up with the design we're copying. That's close enough for me. Okay, into the oven it goes. If you're enjoying this video, please click the like and subscribe, and visit me on Instagram if you want to see lots more designs. So here's what it looks like fully baked. It won't win any art awards, but I have to admit that I was pretty damn proud of this one. So all that's left to say is thank you for every one of the thousand plus that have already subscribed to this channel. It's been great fun interacting with so many of you through the first series, and I've been loving your ideas on what to cover next. So until then, have fun baking and keep those suggestions coming. Bye for now.